beauties and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in once again. Now today I wanted to do a Be Your Own Hero video on something that's becoming of increasing importance to me and that is how to deal with internet trolls, bullies, cyber bullies, bullies even in real life. Because I'm on camera, because I'm on screen for some reason, this sometimes makes people think that they can say whatever they want about me, like I don't have feelings. And it's weird because at first when I read that kind of thing, I was a bit shocked. And I think that's because no one's spoken to me that way in over 10 years. And then I realized that was when I was in school and they kind of speak like children. And it hit me that actually cyber bullies, the people who have the time and energy to bully you online, mainly are kids who are in, yeah, school. And that's kind of weird and sad at the same time because there are a lot of people growing up in the internet age. And this isn't something that I really had to deal with so much when I was at school because there was dial up internet and it was only a thing that you accessed for a certain portion of time but now they're everywhere and it seems to be a growing thing. I'm making this video now because this week, I can't believe I'm saying this as an adult, have been involved in some YouTube drama. <laughs> yeah, what? So basically I had to make a most amazing top 10 video about a prominent YouTuber called Leafy Is Here. And I'll admit, before I was asked to make the video, I hadn't really heard of Leafy Is Here because I don't think that him and I are in any way similar. His brand of videos doesn't quite match my sort of happy and compliment people and be positive demeanor. So I researched this guy who's probably a nice enough guy as it is, but his business model is basically to look through the internet, find videos of like cringy apparently people and sort of people who are a bit socially awkward and then to mock them in public roasting videos. Now while he says that this is satirical, for me it doesn't quite sit right when you're making money out of you know, using nasty words to people. It's just not for me. It was professional criticism that I provided in the video, nothing personal against him, which I'm sure that he can see, but unfortunately, his fans, let's call them, are like very incited by this kind of thing, and that's what's worrying about Leafy. It seems like he incites this whole group of children who are then literally out for blood. I think the video has had over 3,000 comments and a lot of them have been very negative, very personal and some of them are frankly disgusting towards me. I'm going to read you a couple. This is not something I would usually do but as we're in the spirit of sharing, this is what some people have been saying to me and they think is acceptable to say to me. So from a lovely chap called Bally3Football, he's left me a message to say Shut it, it looks like you've left your tampon in the house and had to use your hair. Hashtag nice shirt. Another guy called Cobes says, bullying is fun, you British lesbian. Excellent. This is the kind of thing that Leafy has, to, these are the kind of people that watch Leafy and go out there and then spread their hate around the internet. And I really don't think it is specific only to Leafy fans. It's the thing that happens and I wanted to talk about how to deal with it. Some people would advise when it comes to bullies in real life, online, etc., that you ignore them. And that is one way to deal with it, I suppose, but that's not something that I've ever necessarily been able to do, be it right or wrong. I, for one, would not give them the satisfaction of giving them an emotional response, but I would like to let them know that what they've said isn't acceptable. Now, obviously, when you're dealing with a bully, you're not necessarily dealing with the same person, so when you say to them, this isn't acceptable, they're not gonna be like, oh, right, it's not, and turn around and take their hate anywhere else. They're probably just gonna give you more, but at least you've said something, at least you have stood up for yourself. My main advice is that you never want to stoop so low as saying something nasty back to them. I feel when it comes to bullies, it is always best to keep the moral high ground. For me, I think if you can, the best way to take a person down is with intellect. And honestly, it's not worth fighting fire with fire. It's worth just being a educated individual. When people say nasty things about you, it's hard to see out of that situation. It's hard to see past the drama, but trust me, the drama will pass they will be the one left with a bitter taste in their mouth and if you retain the moral high ground, then you will come out a bit stronger. Yeah, someone can say something nasty about you but that doesn't have to derail your life. You've got your friends, you've got your family, 
and at the end of the day, you're not sitting there writing nasty things about people for entertainment. Honestly, my favorite life motto is living well is the best revenge. And I totally think that that really is something to be lived by. In regards to Leafy, if he's watching this, no personal hate on you, but honey, control your fans and maybe let them know that the things that you say in videos, if they are satire, that's that, but that's not an acceptable way to be going out and treating people in life. So I'm Rebecca Felgate, this has been Be Your Own Hero, and I hope that we've learned a little something from this. If you guys wanna share your experiences with internet bullies, then let me know in the comments section down below. Also on my channel, I have a new section called What We Can Learn From. This is where I'm gonna be taking celebrities, looking at their highs and lows, and surmising what we can learn from their career thus far. So, please do follow me on social media, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, share it around, keep the community happy, and I love you all, and I'll see you next time.